an exercise like this, what were you hoping to see out of your group? And did, did you see it? Yeah, well, you know, I want to watch the film. I always try to reserve judgment after watching live competition. But, you know, we I mean what I said to the crowd there at the end, we've got a long way. The one thing I do know, we have a long way to go, and we got a short time to get there. And uh, we'll find out where we're at a week from tomorrow uh, in our close scrimmage. Um, we've got to become more consistent. We've got to become more solid, you know, on both both sides of the ball. Uh, we got a lot of work to do. But look, we're, we're 13 practices in, so. I don't expect us to be in mid-season form, but I, I expect, again, I expect more out of our veterans than I do out of our newcomers. And, and uh, you know, I should. You know, those guys have been, been through the wars, so to speak. So we now have to, again, watch the film and see where we need to get better, and that's what we'll work on the next week and, and uh, just go day by day. The partnership with KJ and Julian, how have you seen their chemistry grow over the last couple of years? I know they've played sparingly together, yeah. um, but obviously this year there's a chance to play a bit more together. Yeah, number one, they, they're they're great. They're great friends off the court. They got great relationship. Um, I think they really like playing together. Uh, they also understand that you know there's times where when one of them's out, the other one probably needs to be in there running a team. Although you know, the guy that keeps growing on me is R.J. Smith. You know, he's a guy that can I think lead this team. Cody has the ability to play that position. You know, he needs to become more vocal and a little bit more dominant personality, which he's not, not doesn't have quite yet. Um, but we got we got multiple guys that can help run this team. And uh, KJ and Julian will play. They will play together uh, a fair amount this year. Um, we're we're a long ways away from figuring out who's starting, who's coming off the bench, who's going to be our finishing lineup. And our, you know, our finishing lineup will be. Dependent on a lot of things, probably you know matchups and foul trouble and free throw shooting and all that sort of thing. So we'll, we'll, we're a long ways uh, to uh, deciding those those answers. With with Jop and Dak, where, where are those guys at early on in their development? Yeah, I, I love both of them. I mean, Hassan Jop and Van Gogh Dak are both going to be really really good players in Colorado, and uh, and we're going to need one, maybe maybe both of them, you know, to uh, step up and play this year and, and, and be. I don't, who knows how many minutes, but we're going to need production you know, out, of, out, of, out of one of those two guys and, and, and possibly both of them. So, you know, again, they're they're drinking water from a fire hose right now. It's, it's coming at them hard. And, you know, the other thing with, with freshmen is, you know, midterms are hitting academically. The assignments kind of pile up and finals are, you know, on the horizon in December. So academically, they're, they're adjusting. They're adjusting basketball-wise. They're adjusting the pace. They're adjusting to everything. So I, I love those two kids. So they're going to be great players for us. Um, you said that you guys are transitioning to more of like five-out offense. Yeah. Just how have they kind of embraced that? Well, you know, it's good when we when we are in practice and you can script it and you can call it. And now how it translates to getting up and down when they get a little tired and. Now we the ball starts sticking a little bit more. The ball they start pounding a little bit more. So we still we got a ways to go there. I mean, I, I but when we're in practice and we're kind of dictating everything as coaches, we're pretty good in it. But uh, you know we can't do that <laughs> November sixth. We can't stop it and coach them and get them in the right spots. They have to they have to read and react. And, and so we'll, we'll we'll get there. You know, it's it's, it's early, but. but uh, Again, I want to, I want to, I want to keep pushing this group. We didn't see Courtney out here. Anything serious with him? No, he's just he's still fighting that little bump on the head. Well, Julian really stuck out in terms of playing really under control. Yeah. Julian did. Is that something that you've noticed that he's improved on as he's gotten older? Yeah, uh, Julian. The game's slowing down for him. The confidence is there. You know, I've, I've said it many times before. I think you know KJ's uh, getting sick at the end of the, the season of last year. Although it was not good for our team, it was really good for Julian Hamlin in terms of his minutes, his confidence, my confidence in him. He's a he's an important part of this team. There's no doubt about it. It showed it showed tonight. So got a, a lot of confidence in Julian. He's going to be a, a guy we're going to need to play well this year and be a, a production-based guy. It doesn't mean he has to get 20 points every night, but he's got to lead the team, run the team, 
make plays when he's able to make plays, but play under control. And I think that's the biggest thing he does well. There are a lot of people around the country that believe that Tristan's not just one of the best players in the Pac-12, but one of the best players nationally. Um, with some of the recognition he's getting preseason, have you seen a difference about him this season? He looks a little bit more stronger. He looks like he took yeah. the strength conditioning seriously this offseason. Is there a difference that you see with him in this in this preseason? Yeah, it's his confidence level, his, his understanding of what he wants to do, what he needs to do, what this team needs him to do. And I think that's the thing with Tristan. Uh, you know, it might be something different each night, but that's the beauty of his game, his ability to, you know, uh, hopefully start distributing the ball and passing the ball for us. He made a couple of really nice plays um, that he hasn't made maybe in the past in terms of, of uh, getting his teammates involved. We know he can shoot the three. We know he can score on the block. Um, he's going to have to pick and choose his spots of when he needs to score, when he needs to, you know, um, get other guys shots. And, but he's, Tristan's a, he's an All-American in my eyes. No doubt about it. Maybe one more for Coach if anybody has it. Good. All right. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, Coach.